I'm Tom Taylor. Uh, I'm the building science advisor to GAF, uh, focused really on the commercial uh, roofing side. And I'm here with Jennifer. Hi, I'm Jennifer Keegan, uh, Director of Building and Roofing Sciences at GAF. We're here in Indiana on the Mount Vernon roof. Uh, this is a facility that belongs to GAF. This is a 17-year-old roof. And it came from one of the first one or two years that GF was in production here at this facility. It's gone through uh, a maintenance program and it went through a cleaning relatively recently. And this is part of a bigger study, right, that you're leading. Absolutely. One of the biggest questions that we receive mm -hmm. right. from the industry is how long do we expect TPO to last? And how's it going to perform as it continues to age? And we're here on this roof, but you have more roofs in mind, right? I've been collecting samples around the country uh, on aging roofs. So we can see how, how it, we're performing in real life and not right. just accelerated weathering, but in everyday weathering. So today we're going to cut out a sample like okay. I've been doing on these other roofs throughout the okay. U.S. And we're going to cut along a seam because I okay. want to look at the, the weld strength here. Okay. And we're going to take it back to the lab and we're going to run the ASTM standards, the D6878 series of tests, and see how a 17-year-old aged membrane, how that is measured up to the ASTM standard for a new membrane. So we've brought the membrane from the roof back here right. into the, the plant. And we're going to be welding the new repair membrane to the aged membrane so we can evaluate the repairability right. of HTPL membrane. Now we're going to get ready and set up and do a weld of the old membrane down onto the new membrane. So, so we're going to do the reverse welds. And then Jennifer will be cutting samples from this uh, and going into the plant QC lab to do the actual uh, test measurements. All right, so we're here in the QC lab. We've brought the H membrane from the roof. Right. We've prepared it, cut the samples. And so the idea is we're going to take this H membrane and run it through the same battery of tests that the QC lab is running on the new membrane that we're manufacturing right off the line. But let's go ahead and, and look at the weld struts. Yes, let's look at ply adhesion. What we train the contractors to do is to t do a test weld and then physically pull it apart. And what Keith is doing in the QC lab here is we're doing an instrumented version of that. We're gonna be pulling this to see uh, what's, what strength does it take to initiate the break and then to actually pull the membrane apart. And we get a, a what's called a film turing bond where the, the membrane on one side is being pulled apart and right. we're starting to expose the scrim. Right. We'll need to see where the average comes in because I know you, we took a number of samples. And we're going to have to see what the average is. Now, we need to look at thickness over scrim and total thickness. So I think okay. Keith is set up over here to be able to do that. And we're going to look at the cross section through the microscope. Thickness over scrim, that's a really important number. Well, this is, this is the weather protection for right. our entire membrane. All of the materials that are in the membrane to protect against uh, sun and, and heat over the years are really most to put into that, that white cap layer. So Jennifer, great day. So all of this data is being collected. I'm gonna to continue to collect data. As you get more roofs. As I get more access to more roofs. Right. And we're gonna to continue to evaluate the long-term performance of aging okay. TPO membranes and the repairability of them. Wow, that's great. I'm really looking forward to seeing how actual roofs are performing and uh, what it tells us about TPO today. Great. It'd be great to share the data. Yeah, thanks.